Hi Libra, welcome to a love reading from now until Mercury goes in retrograde, which is May 10th. Yesterday we had a partial lunar eclipse with um, Jupiter Venus conjunction. So there's a lot going on when it comes to relationships, people from the past returning, intense communication, more passion for one another. So we're going to see what comes, what's coming towards you. Um, and also we have a full lunar eclipse and full moon the same day, May 16th. So I'm going to do a couple love readings. For those of you that are new, please subscribe, like, and share. That way you continue to get notifications of all the readings that I post. But also I can pull in your energy and bring more personal messages to you while I meditate. Um, you know, that only what you will resonate with. That spirit is sending me. Overcoming obstacles. You can overcome anything. Great adventure. Take a risk. Venture forward. So with obstacles, when it comes to love, there could have been a breakup. Something that made you feel de um, defeated. Maybe ghosted. For each and every one of you, it's going to be different. Something that you need to overcome. But you're willing to move forward on it. For those of you that have inquired about a um, personal reading, the link to my Etsy shop is below. Just click on that and it'll take you right over to my Etsy shop and you can see what messages um, I or readings I offer. They're very inexpensive. I don't want to charge a lot to provide guidance and clarity for people because I needed it at some point. Um, but yeah, I'll always get back to you with your personal message, your personal reading very quickly. All right, we're just fall on the floor and did flip over, so let me get that. Angel of Strength. Yeah, there might have been some kind of um, ending. Things, closing chapters that no longer resonated with you. Things that you needed to grow from. And now you're ready to take that leap of faith towards something new. You gain the strength to do it. Libra, Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Libra's energy from now. Okay, two came out. We're going to take them both. The person coming towards Libra. The person coming towards Libra. The mutual energy between them. Place spirit and spirits on point with these cards. Overall outcome for Libra and their person. Anything else for overall outcome? Something that someone tw is coming towards you that might have hurt you, might have had a past with, might have had things happen to them in the past that hurt them. But once they come in contact with you, they know it's going to feel it's going to be like they want to fight for it. They have the persistence. They're going to see it through the wheels turning for the two of you. So things are going in your favor. It, right, it might be somebody that walked away because the eight of cups was right behind that. All right. Your energy. You can't stop thinking about this person. They might have even caused you pain. An ending that might have hurt you. The obstacles that you needed to overcome. But you gain strength through those experiences. You might connect with this person in your dreams. But with all these birds here, pay attention to feathers in the near future. I also feel a sense of cleansing. With all this blue energy, I feel like you've done some cleansing of your space. Some cleansing of your soul. Allowed yourself to heal. 
they're showing up very grounded and they want to offer you something very grounded and very supportive. For those of you that it is somebody coming back from the past, they want to offer you that apology. Three of water. It's like both of you might be just spending time with like your best friends, your soul tribe, the people that you feel so connected to. It's also a card of celebration. So it might be when the two of you come in unity, it's going to feel like everything is right. Something to celebrate. Your advice, Spirit's advice to you is to move to more um, peaceful waters within yourself. Clear your head. Get your mind off of this person. Allow whatever is supposed to unfold to unfold naturally. Meditate. Clear your mind. Like I said, allow Spirit to bring you messages. I feel like you have gained strength from it. But it's move on to more harmonious, peaceful waters within yourself. If you still feel like a sense of hurt or you can't get your mind off the past, try to let it go so that when this comes in, it comes in and you're ready for it. And when you least expect it, this offer of commitment is going to come in. You might even be a little closed off to it. That might be why you need to cleanse your energy so that you can open your heart and be ready for when this offer comes in. It's going to be an offer of higher level of commitment. For some of you, it might lead to engagement. Others, you know, engagement and marriage. Others of you, you might move in with one another. See that feather? Guys, pay attention to repeating feathers in the next few weeks. Pay attention to your thoughts and your surroundings. Spirit is trying to grab your attention. Libra, sun, moon, rising, and being spirit. For Libra, sun, moon, rising, and beings, please bring additional clarity to this reading. Additional clarity to this reading. Yeah, there was an ending here, guys. Something that completely flipped your life around. Felt you, made you feel defeated, caused you so much pain. It might have been an ending to, you might have been married to this person or living with them in a, like a long-term relationship, but it left you feeling so brokenhearted. You might have even had a child together. But it's like that unbreakable bond. It's like the two of you can't deny it. It could have been lifetimes of a connection. Maybe this is the lifetime that karma had to be paid back for other lifetimes. And now, but you, it's like you can't shake this person. And there is that, that stability, that offering. It is coming. You might even be keeping an eye on this person on social media. There is the balance. You're showing up in your own sign, Libra. You're, there's the balance coming, the offer coming, the apology coming. It's going to pull you out of the illusion of being stuck, the self-imprisonment that you've allowed yourself to get yourself to be in. There's going to be a victory. All right, we're going to take them. Yeah, there's a lot of emotion here. The offer that they want to support you, that no matter what they have going on around them, all these cups, responsibilities, offers, they will always choose you time and time again. I really feel like for some of you, it might have been lifetimes, lifetimes together. And here's the victory. It could be a fire sign coming towards you. You both might have fire in your chart, but it's like they're coming towards you. Um, they've worked on themselves. They're proud of them, them of the, what the work they put in themselves. Um, might have a little bit of an ego. 
but some fire signs do. You know, it's just they know their worth and they are not willing to back down from it. But it's like they can't shake this connection they have with you and they are coming towards you. They want to offer you long-term stability. They want to support you. See the magic, the castle in the back? I feel like both of you might have been holding out your feelings for one another. It might have looked like both of you have moved on. But when in all reality, you might have moved on, you might have started dating, but you just can't shake this feeling that you have for this person. They can't either. That's why they're coming back. All right, this one popped out. See how their minds are connected? It's like that deep knowing. Cupid's arrow strikes. And this one's at the bottom. Power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Neighbor, my only advice to you is to try to get your mind off of this person. The more you think about it, you're going to live in the pain of an ending that happened and you're going to in, you're going to stop the growth of them coming towards you. Just go about your life. Do you. Become your best self. Get balanced within yourself. The universe will pick up on that energy. Pick up on their leveling up also. You'll overcome these obstacles that you went through, that you separated from. You both are coming back with strength in you and willing to fight for this. And it will happen. All right, so I will be back, like I said, for many more readings. Um, oh, yeah, I'm going to pull just a couple of these cards for Libra and their person to bring additional clarity. Libra and their person to bring additional clarity. Hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, persistent, working on it. That's what I mean. Like, you've both got the strength. Not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation. You might have tried to reach out to them or they might have tried to reach out to you in the time that you've been apart from one another. But one of you or both of you might have been closed off to it at some point. Might have been just working on your self-worth. This could have been a one-sided situation at some point. Like a runner and a chaser codependency one of you might have showed up not able to give a hundred percent and had to do some growth and look soulmates soul connection soul contract agreement you might have had lifetimes with one another and agreed to pay back the karma to go through the the, the hard experiences this year this time around but you are soulmates and that's why, yeah, runner and chaser. That's what I got. Spirit was confirming that's what was happening in the past. But this connection definitely is a soulmate connection. All right, Libra, I'll be back for many more readings. Um, let me know if you need healing energy. I will send it. And, and if you are interested in a personal mess reading to bring more clarity to what you're going through, just tag, check out my Etsy shop down below. Um, it's Lotus444. See the readings I offer, okay? Love and light, guys. Stay safe.